hey guys what's up in this tutorial i will show you how to create this 2d frame animation in after Effects. this is gonna be awesome tutorial and without any further ado let's get started okay guys i'm gonna start with a new composition and let's go with this 2d frame and i'm gonna go with full hd resolution 24 frame per second and 6 second for the duration background color is black i will change it later so i'm gonna hit ok now we need to add our shape so i'm gonna go to toolbar and select the pen tool without any stroke i will only use a uh, fill with white color and hit ok and i'm gonna add our uh, shape so i'm gonna click here and then hold shift on my keyboard i will click little bit down and then drag it to this right direction just like that this will give us this half leaf shape and i'm gonna click again here and this will give us this flame shape okay and now i'm gonna call this shape flame so i'm gonna select this and press enter on my keyboard and i'm gonna call this flame now we have this flame shape okay now let's search for wave warp effect i'm gonna go to effect and preset if you don't see any effect and preset option you can go windows and here you can find this effect and preset and i'm gonna search for wave warp effect and there you go and i'm gonna double click this will apply the wave warp effect let's set the wave height to 30 and wave width to maybe 200 i will set the direction to zero and wave speed to two okay now if you press spacebar as you can see now we have this wave in flame effect this looks awesome now i'm gonna duplicate this layer so i'm gonna select this ctrl d2 duplicate now we have two flame shapes okay make sure you have a newest afterward version because afterward version 23 they have changed the track mat system so now we have uh, this track mat with that uh, pick whip option okay so make sure you have a newest afterward version i'm gonna select this below flame layer and then i'm gonna pick whip this to this uh, flame to layer make sure it's not parent and link and now i use this pick whip uh, that belongs to track mat if you don't see any track mat you can just right click columns and here you make sure you enable this mode option this will give us this track mat okay so now as you can see nothing happens because we need to change the parameters for the second layer so i'm gonna select this flame 2 and here you can go to effect control here i will change the wave height to 60 and wave width i will keep the wave width 200 okay and and here we can play with the pace i'm gonna go with uh, 60 degrees as you can see now we have this jagged shape uh, just like a flame now we can add a little bit debris so i'm gonna select this flame too and press ctrl d to duplicate and let's enable it okay now i will pick pip this to this below layer as you can see now we have these two rectangles here in the secondary one it's an invert rectangle so i'm gonna click one time this will invert the mat as you can see now we have this debris effect looks pretty cool and i'm gonna also enable the below layer so now we have this two layer that working together okay now let's go to this top layer and i'm gonna little bit offset so now we have this nice offset in animation i will also drag this little bit to fill the composition okay now you have this animation now let's uh, add some colors so i'm gonna select this uh, below layer flame and let's go to effect and preset and search for fill effect let's double click this will give us this fill effect and i'm gonna go with uh, orange color for this one okay now hit ok now i'm gonna copy this fill effect select this fill effect and press ctrl c on your keyboard this will copy and i'm gonna go to flame 3 layer and press ctrl v to paste it and for this layer i will give a little bit yellowish color just like that this will give us this nice flamey look okay by the way guys you can just press flame 3 and press s and then unlink this chain icon you can just play with the scale of this flame or you can just select the uh, selection tool and play with the uh, path okay this way you can just get little bit different shapes if you want i just want to show you 
as you can see i recommend you guys to play with these shapes okay let's uh, pre-compose this layer so i'm gonna select all of these layers and right click pre-compose and i'm gonna call this flame composite i will select this move all attribute into a new composition and i'm gonna call this okay okay now let's go to three second mark and i'm gonna press n on my keyboard so it will in the comp here this way we can get the loop okay now i'm gonna select this and press ctrl d to duplicate this and press s to bring the scale properties and i'm gonna scale this down a little bit like that and let's select the selection tool and i will drag it a little bit down and let's also add a fill effect so make sure you select this and go here effect and preset and just search for fill or we have this fill i'm gonna double click this will apply i think this red color is uh, definitely working with this uh, animation so i'm gonna keep this default red color so hit ok now this looks pretty cool but as you can see it's not offset so i'm gonna just drag this layer a little bit backwards like that now we have this offset animation and this will give us this nice 2d flame animation now i'm gonna create a background so go here and right click new and i'm gonna select the solid and for the solid i will call this pg and i'm gonna go with this dark blue color you guys can copy this hash code if you want and i'm gonna hit ok and hit ok again let's drag it down we can also add some glow to this uh, flame so i'm gonna select this layer and right click go to layer style and here we can find this utter glow and i'm gonna select this let's go to utter glow and here you for the color i'm gonna go with a little bit yellowish color something like that okay now let's increase the size a little bit to give that nice glow i recommend you guys to play with this glow because i think this glow is better than the uh, after the default glow so make sure you uh, use this glow frequently and i think this looks pretty cool we can also just reduce the opacity if you want just play with the uh, different colors okay now i'm gonna select this uh, layer style and press ctrl c to copy it now let's go to top layer and press ctrl v to paste it now we have this nice glowing flame animation as you can see we can also add a little bit shadow if you want and select this select this below layer and i'm gonna press ctrl d to duplicate and let's bring it down and i'm gonna press r to rotate it by minus 180 just like that now select the selection tool and just drag it little bit down just like that and i'm gonna press s to scale it down let's set this like that and i'm gonna remove the layer style let's open this layer and delete this layer style because we don't need any glow to this uh, shadow layer so i'm gonna select this layer and also add a fill layer okay just like that and i will apply black color and i'm gonna hit ok and press d to bring the opacity and we can just reduce the opacity just like that now let's check this out as you can see now we have this nice 2d uh, flame animation i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any question please let me know and as always thank you so much for the pretty supporters and i will see you guys in the next one with a great tutorial and have a great day